Oh, it's a kid. Get out of here, kid. I'll do more than that than play that nose if you come back. Hey survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Uh, I'm going to try to make the infamous jump to the vertebrate on top of the Museum of Freedom here. Uh, I'm going to do it in the power armor because not doing it in the power armor, it's a pretty, pretty long drop. I don't know if the drop will actually kill you. It might though. Decent chance it might. Ah, nice. Made it. First try. Beautiful. Okay, so ready to have a whole bunch of uh, five mil ammo. How much did we just get? Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's a lot. That's a whole lot of ammo. Okay then, let's drop some stuff so we can actually carry that. This is not a particularly good minigun. It's just a base, just a base model, non-modified. So we'll drop that. And a uh, full set of pristine T45 here. Not bad. Well, no, not, not pristine. I guess it is busted up like some of the pieces are. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll go in here and see what's what. Interestingly, last time I was in here in Frost, you could see the outline of Preston Garvey in the yes. window. I wonder if we'll get like a hallucination or anything. That'd be interesting to get like a hallucination of uh, Preston or I'm going to get a save in here actually before I start shooting the place up because it looks really cool in this lighting. And I kind of want to come back here and take some photos of people before they're dead. You are uh, at your hostel. Think you can hide? Oh, they boarded it up now, so you, you can no longer see it. You could see through it's the windows before. Out, Not the case anymore, though. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. I uh, I tossed grenades in there to see what would happen, and, and nothing did, unfortunately, last time. Whenever you could actually see through the windows over there. Okay, so you can't get back up here. There's no way to get over here, I think, once you've jumped down, which is fine. That area is still blocked off, which was expected. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Yes! Nice perception boosted by one. Mike Daly's your number one. So this is Aiden Frost. This is not in the base game. 10-26-2077. Scad the area a bit now that my team is all just me. Only a few days have passed and already starting to feel loneliness sinking in. Not sure where to find more army after I find my sister or look for somewhere to hole up. There have to be some shelters underground. Hopefully with friendlier inhabitants than the ones I ran into before. Well, at least I don't have to pay back Kanawa that grand iodum. I think I'll miss our poker games the most. Whatever, no use worrying about the old world now. Found a couple of gas masks in my emergency supplies, so I'm going to head to Boylston in the morning. Block the door behind me so I can't come back even if I needed to. Should hold for a while at least. Mike Daly. Boylston Club is somewhere I normally visit once I get deeper into Boston, clear that area out more no thoroughly. 
I'll go there eventually. There's a bunch of uh, free wine in there, although it is poisoned. Uh, but due to a bug, the poison doesn't actually hurt you. It's supposed to do like 100 damage to you. And I'm not sure if you can use anything to like mitigate it. So uh, if you chugged a whole bunch, you'd just die. As you'd expect with poisoned wine. But since it was bugged, it was just a bunch of free booze and frost, which was kind of nice. But something tells me they probably fixed that. Note. Need to get the power armor with that. Nobody messes with, messes with us anymore. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, it's the, the flags. The flags making those uh, shadows moving on the ground there. So all the old spawns that are normally here are still here. Or not. I thought they were still here, but I guess not. Oh. Oh. Five missiles, eh? Do I really need more missiles, though? Do I really? Probably not. I'll, uh, just dump them here for now. If they're just laying on the ground, they should... They shouldn't despawn. Whereas if they're in that thing, they might despawn. If they're if they're in the uh, container, they might like re if the container container respawns its contents, then uh, you might lose the missiles. This how it works. There's snow in here too, which is really cool because the uh, the windows on the top are busted, so it would have snowed and gotten in here. Oh, it's a kid. Get out of here, kid. I'll do more than that than play that nose if you come back. Kind of moron are you anyway? Attacking power armor with a freaking switchblade. Not sure where he ran to, but he's gone now. That's good. Don't want to lose that 10 sanity. That was all I could carry, eh? Okay, we still got some carry weight left. Not a lot, but a little bit. Just stay there, kid. Did I get all these already? No schematics, unfortunately. Pretty good chance of getting a schematic in here, but uh, no luck. That's okay. It happens. So, uh, yeah, we can't get in over here. I'll just go over here then and check to see if we can get into the fusion core area. Probably will drop. Okay, we can. Oh, there's no fusion core though. Yeah. Yeah, Nugger removed it. I, I just yeah, I don't understand that particular choice. Like I said, last episode, uh, it might just be that he was trying to do that whole consistency thing with, um, you know, if the sole survivor gets it, then there's no way you could have gotten it type of thing, but it doesn't actually work that way, because, yeah, we talked about this last episode, I'm not gonna, not gonna go super into it. Ooh, there's a, there's a nice, I can't get that? That's a super nice outfit, I want that. It's like a proper, it's like a proper red coat outfit. Hey, Mr. Porky Gas Mask. How about some 308 to your sternum? That's gonna be too heavy, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. Incendiary grenades are not that great. Probably drop that. Uh, this is not that great either. 50 value per weight is not that great. Yeah, having like some hallucinations in here, like in the major 
event areas of Fallout 4 of the main game. That would be kind of cool, actually. I think, you know? If you could, like, just have, like, a, a flash of, like, Mama Murphy stand here and maybe she says something mystical or some shit to you. That'd be kind of neat. All right, well, uh, we're getting real full, and um, I should be able to use the the workbenches at Sanctuary without actually getting Sanctuary, I think. Um, so I'm going to probably go up there. I don't know if... I'm not going to have the room to explore this area properly and get all the things that I want to get in Conquered. There is a nice bed in... Um, the speakeasy. However, uh, there's no cooking station there. I really need a cooking station to make some more purified water. Which, I can do all that up at Sanctuary, no problem. There is, or at least there was... I'm gonna make a marker on my map here so I can get there easier. There was, last time I was in Sanctuary, which admittedly was before a lot of the new patches and stuff were out. Um, huh. The lights here look really cool. Lighten that up. Uh, there was a... sniper that lived in Sanctuary. It was kind of dangerous. I can't see you at all. Casey Lewin's journal. And let's drop that. And Casey Lewin's Casey with a K. They say Lexington's been taken over by slavers. Lex was our only ally. Now what are we supposed to do? The entrance was overrun by muties this morning. We couldn't even spare the ammo to put them down. We just boarded up the doors. I can still see tr them eating Quinn and Tommy. Cliff says there are even more camped out in the tunnels beneath the station. We don't even have any food. I think it's time I struck out on my own. The rads can't be that high. No, but they are, and you had no gas mask. Now you have no head either, so... You know. Doesn't matter too much. I mean, what are you going to do, though, you know? Like, uh... You don't have any food. You don't have any water. You gotta eat and drink, you know? Sweet. Wind turbine? It looks like a schematic. I haven't had that bug for a while, where it uh, shows you a uh, stim pack instead of the actual schematic. Whatever, it's fine. That's an old bug. Old frost bug. They removed the uh, gourds over here. There are normally a bunch of gourds in front of the door here. But I guess... Um, I guess any plant that you could pick up and then later on plant somewhere would be a no-go. Okay, here's the red rocket. It should have... a bunch of ferals, apparently. Wasn't expecting that, but that's fine. Uh, no dog meat here. I don't have any mod installed to bring him back, because I'm not a companion fan. Plus, I don't think a dog would last very long in the wasteland. Let's be honest here. It's just, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't be a thing. Uh, let me look at my junk here. What can I drop? Oh, the camera. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, that's probably fine. Ah. 
Sir, you appear to be missing a face. This looks like somebody's kind of chewed it off, you know? Let's get that radio off. Some free food here, too. Just making sure here we don't own... I'm going to get a save in, too. We don't own any workshops. We make sure we keep it that way. Bull Barrel 44. I love the look of the uh, Bull Barreled... 44 pistol and the Western revolver, but the bull barreled 44 looks better, I think, in, in my opinion. I can use this too, right? No reason I, I can't use this, I would think. Alright, I'm gonna save. I don't have Lone Wanderer perks yet, so I should be able to use this no problem. I can probably just dump stuff off here. Um, I can probably even dump my spare fusion core in there for a second. I'm gonna take out all my bottles. Does a lab bottle work? Maybe it maybe it does. It's a new one, I haven't seen that before. Take out my bottles and uh, we'll go fill them up real quick in the creek over here. There's no bed here, unfortunately. I don't think there is in sanctuary either. I recall correctly. Sorry, I know it's dark, guys. We'll be... We'll be sleeping soon enough. So, yeah, I guess I don't have to go to Sanctuary. I can just use the uh, cooking bench over at uh, Red Rocket. Good enough. Hello? Um... Excuse me? I would like to fill my bottles. Is this not deep enough or something? I guess it's not deep enough over there. That's really weird. There's no activation for filling your bottles over there. That's strange. Yeah, that's real strange. Am I going the right way here? I think I am. Yeah, here we go. Green car. Green car on the way to Red Rocket. So, um... Where did I see... Oh, yeah, there's a nice bed in uh, Speakeasy. So, okay, so we'll make sure again we don't have any, um... Workshops. Good. We're, we're currently workshop-free. Hop out here and cook up some water and uh, other stuff. I don't have a light here. I just have to deal with it, I guess. Oh, no! It happened, guys. It happened. Yep, okay. I'm going to reload then. Can I not reload right now? There we go. We're reloading. That was a really fast reload. Okay, so... Yeah, using that workshop is a, a no-go, apparently. So I guess I'm gonna grab... I do have some purified water I could drink, I guess. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to, um... Just gonna go back to the speakeasy then, I guess. That's a radiate, I don't need- I don't want that. I don't want to eat that. That bandage was too much, huh? That single bandage. Here, have some whiskey. Make yourself more thirsty. Can drink the Nuka Cola too if I have to, I guess. Um, I think maybe the mole rats have been turned into ghouls over here by the mod, and that's why we saw those ghouls. Maybe. There's a wolf over here, too. Wolves are extremely scary. I think blood bugs get turned into wolves. That clipping issue... Get in there. That clipping issue was so stupid right there. Oh, we got we got a twitcher, guys. We got a twitcher. Watch out. 
Mmm, tasty cow meat. God, that looks really disgusting and gory in that light. That clipping, that corpse was behind that wolf, and yet my attack was clipping on the corpse rather than hitting the dog, which is right in front of me, which was closer. That dog took a chunk out of me, man. That kind of hurt. That wolf, it is. So yeah, wolves are very dangerous. They'll, they'll straight up bite your arm off in a flash and just instantly kill you in frost if you're not protected. Even in uh, combat armor, they're they're pretty brutal. I wouldn't want to tangle with one. All right. Um, so yeah, Abernathy Farm has a cooking station too, but again, like I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I'm pretty sure I saw one back in the metro on our... We could use it on the way back, maybe. Oh, I went past the speakeasy. But, you know... Eh, not a big deal. I still have a couple of cooked Blamco mac and cheese we can use. Question will be, do, do I want to... Um, I have more bottles in here, too. Uh, Yeah, we got a little bit of weight. We got whiskey we can use on our way back, I guess. Can keep chugging it to get more carry weight. No actual beer, though, unfortunately. That's it. Alrighty, um... We're over on our wait. Oh, I do have Danny Boy apples I can use, too. Go ahead and eat those. I feel like I have quite a few of these back at base I can make into... Antibiotics already. Probably isn't that big of a deal. Oh, I forgot to fill my bottles up with water as well. There's no drinking fountain here, is there? No, I don't think there is. I think, unfortunately, I'm probably just going to have to let my fusion core run out. I know I said I would uh, turn the low ones into fusion grenade, which is, I still think it's a good idea, but... It's just, uh, just a lot of extra weight to take back, you know? Gonna, gonna ghetto carry this thing back with me. Pretty sure there's nothing scary around here to worry about, so. Noodle cup, very nice. I need I need that actually quite a bit. It's pretty pretty good find. Is there a decent bed in here? No, I don't even remember. Maybe there's not. That's a nice 10 mil. Suppressed heavy. I sold all my 10 mil though, so I don't even know why I care. Although I have 59 on me, apparently. That's a nice one. Long light barrel, reflex sight, suppressor. The only thing I'd have to modify is the grip, probably. And uh, I'd be good to go. It's a pretty good gun. Crappy range. There is some very, very rare XL in here, which cannot be crafted. Interestingly, um, there's a bloodstain underneath this guy and a combat knife there. 
implying that maybe somebody uh, stabbed this guy like Dexter style through the through the heart through the chest while he was sleeping with his uh, his lady over there. Then there's a beheaded skeleton with the head in the toilet with a bunch of mannequins with machetes sitting around. I don't know, like, since this was a uh, alcoholic establishment and it was a speakeasy, I mean, alcohol wasn't, like, outlawed in Fallout, was it? Or was it? I think that's an actual beer. I don't actually know. Okay, so there's nowhere to actually sleep in here. Thought there was, but, uh, no, you actually can't sleep anywhere in here. Not even on that one. Okay, well, let's figure something out here. As far as carry weight goes, we are 15 pounds over. I'm very tempted to just dump my current fusion core. I think we're pretty good on gears and screws, honestly, guys. Let me look through this real quick and see what I can drop here. Probably a bunch of uh, cans and stuff I can drop. I don't really need that much. Wooden spoon can go. Here, yeah, maybe not. Not really. Just, I don't even have that much stuff. It's just uh, ammo, really. It's the biggest thing. This this huge amount of ammo. Yeah, I have 37 pounds of ammo on me. It's quite a, it's quite a lot. I guess uh, if I do, if I do whiskey like all the way back, I'll have enough to keep this stuff and keep going. All right. Well, um, okay. And that one was too much. Uh -huh. I guess uh, do that. There you go. I guess we're going back because there's not really anywhere to sleep over here, and. Um, I, there's more stuff I'd like around here, but, you know, honestly, um, civic access, one of the doors to it should be over here. Yeah, honestly, I think, uh, we'll just go back now. Or at the very least, we make our back, make, make our way back in the tunnels. been a good exploratory mission. Got some good experience, some good loot and stuff. There is the Death Claw, by the way. You hear him? You can't actually get to him, and I'm not sure where he is exactly. That is chained. We can't get in there. Can you... I think they boarded it up so you can't jump up this way. Yeah, you can't jump in there. You can in the base game. You can jump up here, but there's chain link fence blocking it off here. Now. And I don't think you can get in over there. Other areas chained up. Yeah, there's like a death claw back behind that wall somewhere. Tucked away slumbering over there. Okay. Back to the subway we go. So I might have to kill a few people and take their beds, pretty much, is what I'm gathering from this. Which is par for the course in Frost, right? Are there any beds around here? This goes to nowhere, right? Nothing here. These Both of these stairs go to nowhere. And this goes... Oh, there are some beds here, just not very nice beds. Probably get diseases if we sleep in those. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. Had somebody at the door. Did one of you guys... One of these areas had a... Uh, yeah, cooking station. 
I'm gonna have to kill you all, aren't I? Yeah, nice bed back here too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Something's out. Here we go. You know, maybe a quick bullet to the dome is better than the slow rotting and becoming a feral ghoul. Yeah, I think that's probably better. You know? Okay, only problem is I forgot to fill up my bottles. I We're not that far away. I guess I can probably still do that. Um, dump all this stuff in here real quick, and then we'll cook stuff up. Should be okay, though, honestly, to get back. We have some Nuka Cola. We have uh, noodle cups and stuff. We should be okay. Plenty of wood, too. Should be. Yeah, we should be good. They should reduce the carry weight of stuff quite a bit, too. Kind of like the small. Stakes better. Actually, because I think the big ones um, restore like two levels of hunger. And I never let my hunger get lower than like the base level. Like just one, just a peckish is what I try to aim for. Just no reason to uh, go beyond that. Where are we at here? Okay, dehydrated, hungry. So we can definitely scarf down some food. Hold on. Have anything I want to eat from here? Now we're good. Okay, um, so yeah, do a ribeye steak. Let me let me see. This is two weight. Okay, it's only one hunger level, I guess. Thought it was more than that, but I guess not. Okay, that's gonna be the most carry weight we can probably do. Um, we're already massively overweight, so I guess I'll just uh, deal with being overweight here and walking back through here. I'm sorry, I can't see anything. But, uh, it is very, very dark here, so... Yeah, I guess we'll sleep here for the night, and then, uh, make our way back in the morning. Waking up at 11.40, man, just like my real life. My sleep schedule's all screwed up because I stayed up all night playing Tarkov. Uh, yesterday. Oh, yeah, all that stuff is in, uh... This container, right? I think. Oh, the preferred, preferred water is not in there. It's over here, right? Okay, that's fine. And then uh, we're not hungry, so we're good. Just gotta get in the power armor. Let's put in our crappy fusion core. Or do I want to carry that back? We're at three. I'll let it go as long as I possibly can before yanking it out and then putting the new one in. If I forget, eh, it's whatever. I don't care that much, to be honest. This is going to be a long walk back. I mean, I guess we'd have to walk back all the way home. Uh, the gold we'd get back to uh, Lexington and then dump stuff off wherever we're going to put stuff there or go all the way back to Cambridge and uh, put stuff in Watts, I guess, let up the kids. And then, uh, I don't know, I guess explore some more. This is a very long tunnel with not much in it, which I guess you'd have a lot of. You probably would do a lot of walking around without much... as far as sights go. Would be kind of monotonous, I suppose. I can get all the way back to Lexington on that 3% charge. As long as I'm not doing anything else with it. Right, this goes to the same area. Doesn't matter which way we go. Hmm. 
wonder how much of this there really is. Like, I guess in a big city there would be a lot of a lot of areas like this. You don't you don't think of that too much though about how. Oh, this goes. Uh, this is back to Jason's area. This is the wrong way. It does matter which way we go. You don't think about how much there is underneath of a city though in terms of sewers and if they have a metro system all the infrastructure to support that is pretty extensive and we just don't think about it day to day you know i know my fusion core is almost out i'm gonna yank it in a second all right this is good we'll yank it here i bet we're at zero percent now yep we're at zero charge nice nice as low as I can possibly get it. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry, this uh, section of video is not going to be particularly entertaining because we're just we're just going back. You know, there's not too much to it. This goes nowhere, I think. Yeah, nowhere. Some of those textures look pretty damn awful. I'm not sure I should probably look into replacing those. Keep thinking that's a note over there, but nah, it's just some random clutter. Whenever you have uh, some good texture mods, it, it really makes the bad texture mods stand out a lot more. Might even sprint through here a bit. Isn't there an area? Isn't there a station? No, it's not here, though. Where is the station at? If you know what I'm talking about, where is the station at that has... Um, like three different subway cars and you have to move them around in order to um, get into like a kind of a secretish area. You know what I'm talking about? Which one is that? It's a really big station. The interior of it's really big comparatively. Um, where am I going here? Boy, I'm all confused and turned around now. Oh no, whiskey's worn off. Wonder what we're at for Sandy as well. Get that going. Check the Sandy. 51. That's not terrible, I guess. We'll go back and see Buddy. And I've got about uh, 15 or so Mentats, I think, back at the base that we can go and use. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the area we want to go to, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, College Square. Well, that's... Actually, College Square is back in Cambridge. So, um... Oh. More ghouls, eh? Uh, ghoul slaying makes me hungry, too. Huh, there's some water here. Could fill our bottles there. I didn't realize there's water over here. If there's a cooking station here, I will. I don't think there is, though. Well, if the ghouls are respawned, I'm going to kill them. I wonder if we've got... Yeah, we do. This area respawned quite quickly. I guess blocking in Fallout 4 really, really isn't blocking, it's more like parrying. Which is fine, I'm okay with that. Um, I don't know if I... Still a pretty long walk back from College Square to get back to downtown. I think I'd rather exit here. And then walk over. And uh, get the kids. Or well, you know. Load them up. 
This is not the exact way that I wanted to go, but it's fine. It's, uh, you know, it's serviceable. Maybe I didn't clear this out either. I don't know if I cleared everything out in College Square. I don't really remember. Those moldy food are kind of heavy, but we're going to want to eventually... Once I level Chemist up, we'll just have... Nice, level up. We'll have, uh, unlimited... Unlimited antibiotics. Alright, we are... what level? 38. Okay. So yeah, like, we just pump, uh, the Lone Wanderer perk now, which, I guess, like, if we're gonna pump that, there's no reason to... There's no reason to hold on to the points, right? We, we don't know what we're gonna do with the other points, uh, so I guess I just go ahead and pump this skill, because we get more carry weight and less damage taken. Right, so, um... No reason not to get the extra carry weight. It'll help us out right now. Yeah, okay. Just do that. And now we have 190 carry weight. Cool, now we have actually some room again. Is there a trap over here? Doesn't seem like it. Medex. There should be a raider right here. But they've been removed for some reason. That's okay. Everything over here? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. There's some stuff over here. Yeah, I've already been through here because I chopped off the monkey's head just in case he was a bomb. Oh. How, how awkward. Hello. Do you... You come here often to College Square Station? Or are you just shy? Do you not like, uh... I like the bright lights and being out in front of people. I understand. I'm quite introverted myself. Unfortunately, I need a lot of experience, so... Yeah, let's just take care of that. I guess his his trigger is a one-time thing. Oh dear god, my neighbors are playing something very, very loudly. They got a new sound system for Christmas. I have a theory that they can hear me when I'm recording my Let's Plays, because the walls in the lower part uh, of my duplex, my half of the apartment where I'm at, uh, are not as loud, or not as uh, sturdy. And they get annoyed by the fact that I'm recording. Even though I'm not talking super loud or anything, they can probably still hear me. They get annoyed by my recording, and in retaliation, they are cranking up their new sound system very, very loud, to the point where, uh, I can hear the bass thudding through the walls. I don't think my mic picks it up, thankfully. But, uh, it's a bit unimmersive, man. I'll shut up for a second. Maybe you can, uh, hear it. What did I... We're overweight, right. Should probably kill these guys, too. I have explosives that could do the trick. I'll go ahead and get them out and kill them for their, uh, fusion cells. I miss my, uh, I had a lawyer for a neighbor for a while. I miss him. He was a good dude. And also pretty quiet. I mean, I can't really complain. Like, it's the weekend, you know? It's like 11 p.m. I don't care what they're doing. I'm gonna be gaming, you know? As long as they don't bitch about me, I'm not going to bitch about them. That's how I kind of view that. I'm in. Nice. First one. Okay. So we got some explosives. Think I'll just be using a frag grenade for that. Yep, you're a pretty tanky boy. Just do that, and that should do it. There we go. Nice. 11 free fusion cells. That's like 11 kills, man. Twelve fusion cells. Oh boy. Stuff's gonna blow. Ah. 
Nice high level ghouls here giving me some free EXP. That's right, I said it again. EXP. Suck it. I'm not gonna say XP. Because I'm an adult and I do what I want. I do wonder what the hell's going on over there sometimes. They had like five cars parked there for like a week. I mean, their place is not any bigger than mine, so I know it's like just a one and a half bedroom type place, you know? Oh wait, I was gonna go upstairs. I was gonna go out. I wasn't gonna go through the next uh, subway line. Uh, okay, we'll go back. We'll go up and then we'll walk above ground over to um, the square. Oh, not the square. The uh, uh, Monsignor Plaza. Yeah, we'll go over there. I've really been thinking about streaming some Escape from Tarkov because I've been really getting into that game and I think you guys would really like it. Um, those of you that have never played it or really seen anything of it, it is it is like this a lot, except it has PvP and better graphics. And I mean, it's a bit different, but like the premise is the same. Kill people, take their stuff, sell their stuff, get better stuff amass as much wealth as you can so you can kill more people and get more stuff like it's just a progression system it's like it's like Path of Exile but with guns and PvP it's like if Path of Exile and Fallout had a unruly stepchild and uh, they that stepchild liked PvP that's not a very good analogy, honestly. Doesn't do it justice. But yeah, I've been thinking about maybe streaming that a little bit, just for fun in my downtime. A very chill stream, because usually when I'm playing that, it's because my voice has given out and I can't record anymore, so I'm not going to be super, super talkative while I stream. And plus, that game, I think, is fine for that, because you have to listen really, really hard whenever you're uh, playing to make sure that you don't, you don't get uh, killed. Not very nice weather out here today, but that's okay. I'm gonna mark. It's not Monsignor Plaza, it's uh, Watts, is where he left the kids at, that's right. So, yeah, go back to Watts, not Monsignor. Oh, missed two dollars. That's why we look, because that two dollars. Oh, missed sixteen dollars. That ID didn't go off for some reason. Hmm. That's too much, and I don't have enough whiskey. There's a gas station over here. And sometimes, not this time, but sometimes, you'll get uh, a Deathclaw or two over here. And Deathclaws, they fight each other. Which is pretty interesting to watch them fighting. There's a sniper rifle over here, too. Probably should be some ammo as well. Yeah, I haven't been to this, this Red Rocket gas station yet. I don't have room for anything at all, really. So it's just going to be money. If I find any money, I'll get that. Otherwise, we're just going to leave it. Or ammo. Ammo's fine, too. But yeah, Tarkov is literally just, like, running around and killing people and taking loot from the world. That's pretty much all it is. Mostly it's loot looting stuff from the world, though, and trying not to be seen by people. It's, like, low-key. It is terrifying, though. It really is. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink that Gwinnett Stunt real quick so we can, uh, get our carry weight back here. Yeah, pretty crappy. That's yeah, not terrible, but it's not that good. Hunting rifle. I've got better.
But yeah, like, low-key, it is, uh... One of the scarier games I've played, just because... Like, when you get shot, like, when you get shot, it's, it's like, really realistic, and it, it... I swear to God, like, it gives me PTSD. It scares me, and... Makes me crap my pants, like, every time, man. To say good game. Haven't gone through Kendall Hospital yet either. I'm gonna wait until I'm like level 45 or so for that. Whenever I've gotten my marksman perk maxed out, I can actually take my laser rifle there or a plasma rifle would be even better. Gotta mod that plasma rifle at some point and a laser rifle too. I still have some additional uh, levels of the, it's not the, uh, not the receiver, but whatever it is, the equivalent for a laser rifle is to make that a bit better. Okay, and here we are at Watts. We're back. I'm going to load the kids up and then uh, probably call it for this episode. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably load them up off screen here, guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.